Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing this V part unit from Beauty Forever Hair. First, I'm going to wash and rinse the hair before I begin this install. So as you can see, this is a body wave wig. So it did keep some of the waves. They're a little bit more tighter and more pronounced towards the bottom of the wig. This is a V part unit, as I mentioned, and I'm not gonna hold you guys. I'm not really a fan of the V part wigs personally for two reasons. One, because I don't know, I be feeling like my forehead look big. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I be feeling like it be given five head. The second reason I don't usually like V part wigs is because they never fit my head right. They're always like really bulky in the back. They don't really fit, they don't really have like a good fit. So I just usually decline them. Now, the only reason I decided to do this one is because when the vendor reached out, they told me that they had a smaller size wig. So I told them I would give them a try. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so I did wash my hair uh, yesterday. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna go with a side part or a middle part. I feel like the side part might cause the wig to not fit the way it's supposed to fit but I'm feeling like the side part would look better on me and my head won't be shiny. So let's see what we are gonna do. So first thing I'm gonna do is just take the wig and measure it, see how big the parting space is. So it has a decent amount of parting space and I do wanna leave out some of my hair. So I'm going to part it to where it will start around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to part my hair down the middle. You guys know I'll be struggling with my middle part. So if it's a little off-centered, mind your business. All right, that's about as good as y'all gonna get. Now I do suffer from a dry skin and dry scalp. So I'm gonna put some of this organic gracious oil down the middle just to moisturize my scalp. I do notice a difference whenever I use this continuously in the condition of my scalp. It is also great for like eczema or paralysis. So I'll be sure to link that in the description box down below for anybody who may be interested. I don't wanna leave out too much of my hair, so I'm gonna leave out just enough so that it covers the tracks. I'm gonna go ahead and braid this leave out to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to part the hair to create an anchor braid, which I'm gonna to use to clip the unit onto my hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna just comb this hair down. Luckily my hair is short, so I don't have to braid it up. Let's take a look at this V part. There are four clips inside. There's one all the way back here and there's a comb in the back and there are adjustable elastic bands. Next, I'm gonna open the clips. Now, when I try on this unit, I prefer to clip the front of the hair first just to make sure I have good positioning and then I go and clip the back of the hair. And then next there are the two combs on the side and I just slide that into the hairline just to make sure everything is nice and secure. I did go over the hair really quickly with the flat iron just to straighten out the kinks and just kind of get an idea of how this hair will flow. Now y'all know I was gonna add layers. Layering unit is crucial for making your hair just blend better, especially with my hair being shorter. Then I decided to add a couple of curls to the unit. In all honesty, if I knew I was gonna add the curls, I wouldn't have bothered flat ironing it because it's a lot easier to curl the unit if it already has the natural curls. Lastly, I went on top of that with my hot comb just to lay out the top. And voila, this is pretty much all you gotta do for these V part units. And surprisingly, I didn't feel like my forehead looked a little too big and I actually like it. This is honestly the first V part unit that I've actually liked how it looks on my head. Now the back is a little loose, but I will say this is the best fitting unit that I ever have. It's not really gathering too much in the back like the rest of them. And that really has been my issue with the B-part unit. 
along with the fact that my hair is short. So when your hair is short, it's a little bit more challenging than when your hair is a little bit longer. It allows the hair to blend in more flawlessly. However, I feel like even though this is a silky body wave unit and my hair is definitely yakky and kinky, I feel like it blended pretty well. I don't know guys, you guys let me know what y'all think. So this is what it looks like with the middle part. You guys know I'm a side part girl. So I was like, okay, let me see how this unit will fit if I go ahead and change it into a side part. So that's exactly what I did. Now you guys may notice these beautiful earrings that I put on. These were gifted for me from a lovely subscriber. She sells authentic African jewelry. She has so many pretty earrings and necklaces in her line. If you are interested, I will be sure and link them in the description box down below. And this is what the unit looked like with a side part. I actually like the side part. I'm still not sure if I like the side part better than the middle part, which is a first because I typically always rock with the side part. Um, but this unit is giving sewing. And guys, I haven't had a sewing in so many years. And this is the first B part that I actually felt comfortable wearing. And it actually gave me the same look that I typically would get if I had a sewing without, of course, the extra time that it takes to install a sewing. That's one of the benefits of the U parts. You could take them on and off. You can give your hair a rest. Now, one thing, when I did do the side part, I did it without the anchor braids. And I do caution with clipping the hair directly onto your hair without an anchor braid, cause I feel like it caused a little bit too much tension onto the hair. However, you could try it out and see which works best for you. So guys, if you are interested in purchasing this unit, as always, I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box down below. But y'all already know the drill. Before we get out of here, I'm gonna need y'all help naming this unit. What do you think we should call her? Go ahead and leave your name suggestion in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name as well as the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen. So dolls, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And while you're at it, be sure and check out my other channel, Being Faithfully Asia, where I have girl talk, DIYs, and a lot of lifestyle content. So dolls, as is always important, until the next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.